Bring in Dr. Dina Atai, and she's an assistant clinical professor of surgery at the David Geffen Hospital. School of Medicine. School of Medicine. <laughs> so Sorry. you see all the headlines. It says, here's one right here. Rita, Rita Wilson reveals she has breast cancer. She says she was diagnosed with invasive lobular carcinoma. So what is that? So invasive lobular carcinoma, lobular carcinoma. is a form of breast cancer. There are two basic cell types in the breast a milk duct, and the lobule. The lobule is the gland. About 15% of all invasive cancers are lobular. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of the common types of breast cancer. So she said that she tested for this marker, which is the LCIS marker, lobular carcinoma in situ. In situ. In situ. So <laughs> in situ means that the abnormal cells are just confined within the lobule. There's also something called ductal carcinoma in situ. The cells are confined. Invasive means that the cells have broken out from right. the wall and then they have the potential to spread to other places in the body. LCIS or lobular carcinoma in situ, even though it has carcinoma in the name, is not technically a cancer, but it tells us that you're at higher risk for eventually developing a cancer in the future. So what do you make of the choice then in this situation of for her to have this double mastectomy? So invasive lobular cancer is not a worse cancer. It has a similar prognosis or overall outcome to invasive ductal. But it's a sneakier cancer. It can be harder to detect on mammogram and ultrasound and MRI. And it more often will go into both breasts. Mm -hmm. So it is not unreasonable to have a bilateral mastectomy with this, but it's not necessarily the right choice for everyone. Hmm. Um, how would you describe the differences between this type of cancer and you know, the gene marker that Angelina Jolie had that was more of a preventative double mastectomy? So like in Angelina Jolie's case, she tested herself for a genetic abnormality that puts her at very high risk for developing a breast cancer. 80 to 90 percent. It seems like in Rita Wilson's case, she didn't necessarily have any other risk factors, although we don't know what her family history is, except for the fact that she had been diagnosed with this LCIS previously and they were monitoring her closely for it. But that would not necessarily be a reason to have a preventative mastectomy. So what's your advice to women at home here? Because here's Rita Wilson who says she's had yearly mammograms, she had an MRI, I think two breast biopsies before someone said, hey, check again, get a second right. opinion. So with pathology in the breast, it's not always black and white cancer or not. And there is a whole gray area, this carcinoma in situ and something called atypical hyperplasia. You need an experienced breast pathologist. And just like anything else in medicine, it's not unreasonable to get a second opinion. Mm. Gosh, it's just, Good you know, she trusted her first doctor and you yes. would think that that would be a final would you know? test, right? Yeah. Very scary. Okay. Thanks so much, Dr. Dr.